program, The Bard of Bengal. 大家好,欢迎你们来到今天的活动, Tiger Zhiye. Why are we celebrating this incredible person? Because he is the voice of early 20th century India. He wrote the, the national anthems of two countries, and he won the Nobel Prize. He was the first non-European to win the Nobel Prize. Wishma 以及一些住在台湾台北的一些孟加拉、印度孟加拉邦的侨民，那他们今天会带一系列的泰戈尔的作品，让大家欣赏。Today we will have a whole series of performances, which are all inspired by Rabindranath Tagore, including poetry and songs and dance. And these are performed by artists of the Red Room, where we are today, and also by Bengalis living in Taiwan. So I'm not going to say too much, and we will straight away start today's program. The first will be a, po a poem, which will be read by Mr. Sridhar Madhusudan, the Director General of the India Taipei Association. Xinwu 不写的努力向着完美伸出手臂在那里理智的清泉没有沉默在积习的荒漠之中在那里心灵持受你的指引走向那不断放宽的思想与行为一一进入那自由的天国我的父啊让我的国家觉醒起来吧。我们以热烈的掌声欢迎史会长。Let's put our hands together and welcome Mr. Shukran. about 30 seconds or 40 seconds to say, uh, but I'm going to take about one and a half minute to say it in two ways. Uh, before that, I thought I'd take a couple of minutes to speak about three words. One is poem, second is personal, third is performance. First is poem. This poem was written more than 100 years ago. It actually was written in 1901. It was published as Prarthana, which is prayer in uh, Bengali. And after that, about 9012, the poet himself translated that into English. Uh, and then uh, he actually read it in the Indian National Congress in Calcutta. If you know the meaning of when you are seeing the meaning of the poem, just see that the context in which he wrote, India was a colony, around the world, colonialism was dreaming. Nobody could speak of, nobody could even imagine a moment of freedom. At the time, this poem talks about something that we have not achieved today. 
So in that way, I think this poem says what a poem is in the world. It is not that. It is this. And this poem over the hundred years is doing this work. That is poem. Second is personal. Not only countries, even individuals. Many times we are in situation where we are under stress. Our reality tells us, please accept the reality. And this is where you are. Don't try to do something else. I personally had a situation where my reality was telling me, accept it. This is it. And you cannot do anything else. At the time, I actually stumbled upon this poem as part of the exam syllabus. And that during that exam syllabus, I liked the poem so much that I wrote the poem, kept it in my room. And I actually translated the poem into my mother tongue, which is Tamil. Is there any Tamil speakers in this room except me? Thank you. So I translated the poem into Tamil and kept it in my room. And during the exam, I wrote the translation of the poem. And uh, that is one of the results where I got into Indian Foreign Service and I'm here. And I have been going through this poem repeatedly over the years, over the decades, because this poem tells me that the reality is fake. Your mind, your vision is more real. And you can wake up into some other situation and then turn the reality and then go again. So in a way, this poem is not just a poem for me. It's a postscript and a preamble. Thirdly, performance. And Roma sent me a mail uh, I, on WhatsApp. She said, can you read a poem for this? I said, yes. and. Uh, I, because the history I've said, I did not think which poem. And so I said that, yeah, can I read this poem? And she said, yes. And then I saw somebody came to me and said that, you know, they have put you as a performer. Right? And I said, wow, OK. Uh, the facet is that I am actually a performer. And I have directed about six to seven plays, theatre plays. We had a theatre group called IKEA Theatre Group. And we have performed in uh, India, uh, Beijing, Hong Kong. We have performed many plays. We have directed full length plays, including Exuberi's Little Prince, or Kafka's, or uh, German plays, Hindi plays, and everything. We have, we have done this, right? And I've acted in the place, and my wife, Aida, he and I, we have directed plays, including Oedipus and everything we have done. So when somebody said that, you know, by mistake, they have put you as a performer, I said, oh, probably it's a good mistake. <laughs> okay, so, thank you. So I, I'm going to do something which is uh, strange, but this is, this kind of group is something that I love. I grew up with when my, I didn't have bus ticket price for bus ticket. I have to walk four kilometers to watch a theater. Or I have to cycle somewhere to rehearse. And I grew up with this kind of quote. So this is very dear to me. So instead of reading or reciting, I'm going to perform. Is it okay? And I'm going to perform in two languages. One is English, you all know. Second is Tamil, because she has read the Chinese version. You all know the meaning, even if you can't understand English. If you see the English performance, then you will know what I'm doing it in Tamil. So that's also easier, right? So here we go. 